Hello, welcome to The Collectible Show. My name is Aaron Lapidus. I'm your host tonight. We have a wonderful show in store for you. We're very lucky to have Mike Peters, the creator of Mother Goose and Grimm. Mike, welcome on the show. <laughs> well, it's great being here, Aaron. Your cartoons are, not to say, all over my refrigerator, <laughs> all over my parents' refrigerator. <laughs> I'm emailed your cartoons. Oh, and for people that do not know what his cartoons look like. <laughs> this is one of the cartoon strips from Mother Goose and Grimm called Cartoon Rest Home. Yes. And Cartoon Rest Home <laughs> is about um, well, it's about, uh, I mean, it's about Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner, a and I was trying to think about kind of what it would be like, uh, you know, after they got old and they were in the rest home, and Wile e would still be chasing the Roadrunner, the sweet little thing, but there would be nurses behind him on wheelchairs, you know, you know, and, and in fact, I could go a whole bunch of ways on, on cartoon rest homes because there's always been, you know, Bluto and Popeye, you know, you know, uh, Tom and Jerry, you know, you could just Because these of, characters never get older. They never get older, they just, you know. And you always wonder what, what happens if, <laughs> if Popeye, you know, his muscle didn't go up, but it <laughs> right. went down. Oh, that's good. Wait a minute, you'll <laughs> see that in about three weeks. You know, I'm, that's I'm barely great. hanging on to being a host of my own show, so don't, <laughs> don't give me any ideas. Oh, gosh. All right, well, we got this one. Yes. Which is a great cartoon. I like to show another cartoon yes, that absolutely. you had. Then this one, hold on, no, that's that. We're okay. going to save the best for last okay. here. All right. This oh, one now, right I here. Got a, I got in a lot of trouble for this. I got in trouble for it because it was, you know, I was at a, I, I was at a, um, at a Disney on Ice show, and I came up with this idea. The lore is that Disney, God love him, Walt Disney, uh, when he died, they had that freezing thing. Yeah, yeah, he says, sorry kids, I thought this was gonna be a skating event. Well, I got the laughing. I was at this, I was at the, the Disney on Ice show, and I got the laughing, and my wife asked me why, and, um, and I got the, but I laughed about it all the way home, and then I had to do it up, and then, you know, when you do up these things, you're not quite sure if you're gonna get in trouble. And and I got one Disney lawyer calling saying, this is outrageous, we're gonna sue. And then I had Mr., uh, um, I had one of the top, um you know, top guys at Disney saying, I've got to have the original. So it all sort of worked out. This was good. This was good. Well, Mike, I'm not going to let you leave <laughs> until, and I know I always ask you this every time I, yes. I see you, could you draw something for us? Oh, sure, of course, of course. And well, uh, this is, well, this is great. Um, how, how about if I draw Grim? Grim, okay. Okay, now, when I first came up with, um, with, with doing the dog, you know, there was uh, Snoopy uh, was, was, of course, there and Marmaduke and Fred Bassett and a bunch of other dogs. But no dog really acted the way dogs that I've owned all my life. Like Snoopy plays golf and, and does stuff like that. I wanted a dog that actually acted like a dog that had fleas and ate out of trash cans and chased mailmen and drank out of toilets. And uh, <laughs> I swear, you know, I mean, the first time that I drew Grimm drinking out of the toilet, there was a, this group in Pittsburgh where I was being published, and this group uh, wrote to the paper and yelled and went down and picketed and said, no, we're not gonna have dogs drinking out of toilets in my family newspaper. And then this other group came down there and they loved the dog drinking out of the toilet uh, because that's the way dogs do, you know. And so in Pittsburgh, one year, there was this huge pro-toilet, anti-toilet war going on. But this is Grimm and, uh, and then he's got another little friend. He's got another little friend. It's a cat called Attila. And, How did you uh, get the name Attila? Uh, uh, we have had a lot of cats, and we've named them all different kinds of things. And this one day I heard the name Attila, and I thought, boy, boy, what a great name for a cat, you know. He's like his buddy, and he follows him along. And to me, Grimm is more of a instant gratification kind of thing, and the cat is more uh, a little view of reason that kind of helps him through problems and stuff like that. So. And so, and so those are my two main characters. You know, everybody does a cartoon and they try to include their personality in the cartoon. Who yes. would you say you're more like, oh, Attila God. or Grimmie? Oh, no, without a doubt, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I'm the dog. Uh, this one time, I love Frito. I mean, I love corn chips. 
and you just got salt and grease, you know, all the stuff that's going to be yeah. bad for me. The way that I stop from eating a lot of Fritos is I take one handful of Fritos and then I crunch up the rest and I and then I dump them in the trash can. And this one day, I was I had I had crawled over into the trash can and I'm li I'm licking the bottom bottom of the trash can, getting the Fritos up. And my wife came in and she said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I I, I try not to eat the Fritos." She said. You know, you. I mean, you're the dog. As she said, I didn't realize you were the dog. And once she said that, then then the comic strip took off because I realized I am the dog. And so I just started tapping into things things about me. Thank you for being on the show. <laughs> You've been a, been a hoot. Oh, uh, you are a hoot. I'm very lucky to have you, Mike Peters, Mother Goose and Grim. Remember, one person's trash is another person collectible. <laughs> have a great night. I'm Aaron Lapidus. Thank you.